Hey YouTube, um, back again. Um, after making that last video, I thought, you know, hey, I haven't made a video in eight days uh, until now, so um, how about I just make another one, uh, talking about, you know, uh, my cigar collection, my pipe collection, tobacco, you know, etc. Um, so I'm going to show you, uh, uh, give you a tour through two of my humidors. Uh, not too impressive right now. I've smoked a lot and need to restock, but. Um, and then my pipes and pipe tobacco. So uh, I am recording this on my MacBook, um, so the angle is going to be a little bit weird, but it shouldn't be too bad, not a problem. But um, anyway, here goes. All right, so to begin, I have some Irish Flake. Uh, Irish Flake. <laughs> Irish Flake, University Flake, uh, pardon. Um, University Flake by Peterson is one of my favorite smelling tobaccos of all time. It smells delicious. It is absolutely wonderful. Um, it is a good smoke. Um, I like it a lot. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Almost no bad things at all. And I would recommend this to anyone. Next up is Plum Cake. Uh, Plum Cake by Mac Barron. Um, I have a friend who likes it quite a bit. Um, personally, I, it's going to take a little bit for me, um, like a lot of other Mac Barons, it burns a little hot, um, and so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get used to it, <coughs> but, um, you know, sometime in the future, maybe, um, I'll give a review on that, and on maybe some of the other ones, too. Uh, next up, I have two by Ashton. I have Ashton Winding Road and Ashton Gold Rush, and, um, I'm sorry about the glare if you can't see these very well, um. But uh, these both smell very similar, and um, but they are both very good blends. Um, they both are aromatics, um, and they taste good. Uh, they smoke very wonderfully out of uh, certain pipes that I have. <coughs> Next up is my favorite blend uh, by far. Um, I could smoke this all day long. Some of you may recognize that. Um, you should at least. It's an excellent blend uh, called Frog Morton. Um, it's absolutely excellent. It has a uh, it has a very weird smell. You know, almost like barbecue or beef jerky. I've heard it compared to, but um, personally, I think it's kind of a bad smell. Um, but that aside, I mean, that really shouldn't. You know, I mean, I know that would obviously turn some people off, and you know, I can understand why. But you know, really give it a shot. It is. Excellent. I mean, it is so good. Um, it tastes nothing like it smells. It is. It is just very, very good. Um, my favorite, as I've said. Some other ones that I have that are bagged. Um, what you saw me smoking earlier. Um, Cornell and Deal Night Train. Um, I like that. I would recommend that after having that now. Uh, very good. Um, I can see my sm myself smoking that. You know. Um, on a nightly basis, probably not all day, but on a nightly basis, or you know, at the end of a day. Um, other than that, I have some um, some blends that uh, are found in my local tobacconist shop here in Sioux Falls. Um, one is Irish Gold, um, an aromatic, very good, very pleasant smell, um, almost as good as uh, University Flake, not Irish Flake. <laughs> Uh, next up is Strawberry Field, which I was smoking in my first uh, pipe video. Another aromatic. Smells very good um, and tastes just as good as it smells. So that's it uh, with my tobacco, like pipe tobacco collection. Um, I know that some people have a lot more than that, um, but I personally do not. Um, I don't have a whole lot of pipe tobacco. I'd like to get more, but uh, money kind of restricts me from doing that. Uh, next up are some of my pipes. Um, this is a uh, pipe rack that I got um, and inherited from my uh, grandfather um, in the center. You'll see this uh, humidor with this little thing on there. It's a decent sized humidor. Um, you know, it can hold a pretty fair share of uh, tobacco. Um, and around it, uh, there's eight slots for uh, various pipes. We'll begin with the pipe that uh, I bought myself. Um, this I bought in Williamsburg, Virginia. It's, um, you know, it's a nice little, not full bend, uh, but, you know, a little bit of a bend. Um, it's very nice. This bowl shape is the most comfortable bowl shape I've ever had, you know. Just got a nice grip, and it's so comfortable in the hand. Uh, this is brandless. 
The only thing I believe it says on it is uh, made in the Czech Republic. Yeah, it just says Czech. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. I don't really care that it doesn't have a brand on it. Um, I think that it's great, you know. Um, it smokes great. It is one of my favorite pipes. Um, I love it a lot, and it is the first pipe that I've ever personally bought, so it holds that kind of sentimental value to me. Next up is this. This is an Oscar pipe. Um, huge bend, you know, I mean, just, just completely, you know, bent. It's, uh, it's great, though. I love this pipe. I, um, I like to smoke uh, aromatics out of this. Um great pipe though um, I don't know I don't know what to say about it it's just a, it's a beautiful looking pipe and it's a beautiful smoking pipe next up is the pipe that you saw me smoking in my first video um, this is a ROP pipe made uh, in France uh, it's a sitter you can see uh, really cool it is not made out of briar um, I do not know what it is made out of and maybe one of you can tell me what it is made out of but I do not know um, it's a great pipe, uh, smokes beautifully. I smoke a strawberry field in it almost exclusively, um, and it smokes like a dream. It is very, very good. Um, next up is this, which you just saw me smoking in my last video. Uh, the bowl is a little, you know, torn to pieces. Um, I got it that way. Some of these um, pipes that you'll see, except for this one, uh, the one that I bought, um, are, you know, not in good condition. They've had a lot of wear and tear. This is another one that smokes very good. Um, uh, it's it's a great pipe. Um, this is a um, Medico. That's right, Medico. Um, and uh, it, it's a great pipe. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. Um, I smoked the Night Train in it, and I think I might just dedicate it to Night Train and uh, you know other blends uh, in that caliber, uh, in that flavor. Um, but yes, another good pipe. Um, these are some of the I wouldn't call them shittier pipes uh, by any means, but the more damaged pipes, the pipes that I don't smoke as often, or maybe the pipes, uh, the pipes that I, excuse me, the pipes that I, um, that I won't smoke, uh, will just kind of keep because they hold the sentimental value of being inherited down from uh, my grandfather. This one is a perfect example. It has, you can kind of see, it's got, you know, just it's it's really kind of dirty and grimy and. It's not really sticking in there very well. It appears that my grandfather tried to glue it back together, and it's just not uh, not very good. And then on top of that, it's got kind of a small bowl, um, and I don't really like that small of a bowl. I mean, I like a bigger bowl. So, you know, this one I'm not going to smoke, uh, probably ever. Uh, I'm just going to keep it, um, and, you know, maybe hand it down to my grandchildren. Uh, this pipe is another kind of, it's similar to that, uh, this piece kind of falls out just very loosely, um, and I feel like if I was, uh, you know, smoking it, holding it in my mouth, it would just kind of fall right off, but it has a very cool rustication, um, very, very cool, um, and it's got a pretty decent sized bowl as well, so I like that pipe, I might smoke that one, but uh, no promises there. This one I like, you know, for me at least, it kind of reminds me, you know, when I just think of like a pipe, um, you know, a pipe that you would see in a movie or something like that. That's that's just kind of what it reminds me of. It just looks like a pipe, a normal, you know, old classic style pipe, and uh, I like that. And I smoke uh, aromatics out of this one. Um, not a huge bowl, uh, some kind of cool rustication. Um, very nice though. I like it. Um, one of my uh, one of the first pipes that I ever smoked of this set that my grandfather gave me. There's this one. This one is by far, in my opinion, the most beautiful pipe that I own. You can see, hopefully you can see, this kind of pearly stem, which is very nice. Very, very, very nice. Um, I like that a lot. And the harmony that it has with this black rustication is just astounding. It is um, it is a great looking pipe. Um, it smokes very well. I tend to smoke um, you know, some aromatics out of this. Uh, but once I, you know, get some more <clears throat> Englishy blends or, you know, non-aromatic blends, then uh, I'll probably move away from using those in there. Um, however, that is my last pipe that I have to show you, um, and that is um, all for pipes and pipe tobacco. And now I have cigars to show you. 
This is more of my personal humidor or um, the humidor full of cigars that I have not, or brands that I have not tried before, or samplers, cigars that I don't have a lot of, um, and things like that. The first one, Baya. Um, don't have a whole lot to say about it. It's an okay cigar, nothing special. This is the most special cigar that I hold um, in my entire collection. This is a My Father Lounge Edition. It is made for one store, one uh, chain of stores in the world, and I was able to pick up uh, one from the Williamsburg store when I was in Williamsburg. Um, and I can't tell you anything about it um, because I haven't smoked it yet, and it's uh, it's for a special occasion, um, and I'm keeping it in this glass tube that uh, I found. Um, but a very, very nice cigar. Um, you know, it, it holds, you know, that value to me, um, and I've heard very good things about it. It cost me $10, so it better be fucking good. <laughs> Excuse my language. Um, this is a case uh, for another cigar that I had smoked, and I just keep this in there to uh, kind of hold the flavor of it. It's a Havana Irish Cream, um, my favorite brand of flavored cigars, um, but then again, I... I prefer full flavor or medium to full flavor cigars, so I'm not a huge flavor cigar guy. Don Thomas, good brand. Um, Hoyo de Monterey, uh, another good brand. Sancho Panza, uh, Punch, and then uh, two that I got from a CAO World Sampler, um, CAO Brasilia and CAO Criolla. Um, I also had a CAO Italia and a CAO America. Um, I like CAO a lot. I think they're very good. I also like Punch, um, and I like Don Thomas. I haven't had much of Hoyo de Monterey, but that smells delicious. And Sancho Panza, I have not had any either. Um, but that is, you know, the more personalized, if you will. Um, you know, like the, the ones that are really for me and uh, the ones that are more special, the ones that I only have individual sticks of, um, not a lot, um, not cases or anything like that. This is more of, like, if you will, a group humidor, um, a humidor that I did buy and is mine. However, um, friends of mine that don't have a humidor but still want to um, maintain the cigars that they own, they will put them in here um, and to keep them in good condition. Um, so, there's not a whole lot in here. I'll start with these. Uh, Havana Honeys. Um, I don't like them. I do not like them at all. I think that they are very, uh, very bold in their flavor. Um, the honey really, really comes out, and I don't like it. Um, it doesn't need to be that flavorful. But I do have some friends who like that, so they're more in there for them than anything. Um, I got them, I tried them, and now I'm done with them. Macanudo Maduro is very good. A spicy stick, um, as Maduro tends to be. Um, very good. Recommended. Another Havana Honey, a friend's, you know, not there for me. And then two Magellans. Uh, these are shit cigars. Uh, absolutely shit cigars. Um, not good. Not good quality. Anything. Very cheap. And then one of my friend's Cohibas that he got from the Dominican that I'm holding for him. And then lastly, I have 11 of these Peros Indios cigars. Big stick. Big ol' stick. Um, very good um, cigars. I give them out to friends, you know, occasionally if they're looking for something to try. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so um, that's that's all for um, you know my cigars. This video is getting pretty close to the end here. Um, I'm trying not to go over 50 minutes, or else YouTube's gonna shut me down. <laughs> they're not gonna upload the video. So um, anyway, that's my uh, cigar collection. Sorry, I got or tobacco collection. Sorry, I got a little rush towards the end there. And um, I hope you guys have a good week, and uh, I will probably be making another video this week about something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, until then, I will see you guys 